Maybe you didn't like your Invisalign. So you think that was just a bad egg? Yeah, I think he was mad at me because I waved to him and I'm not by his way. Because it's like, as the flow cries a minute away, but then they have to go. You know you just said, as a flow cries? Did I? Yeah, it's as a <laughs> crow flies. <laughs> Fl flows don't cry, Candace. <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet. Today's vlog is a mission. A rescue and recovery mission. I'm not someone who likes to set myself up for failure. But I do think I need to be honest here. I'm not expecting this to be a successful rescue mission. But that's not enough for a reason for me not to try. So I'm gonna give it my best shot. Yesterday I left a drone on a rooftop. Today, I'm gonna try and go and reclaim it. There are a lot of ways this can play out. To gain access to the roof, I can try to get to the interior of the buildings, climb up one of the interior fire escapes, gain access that way. Or, I can try to go into one of these buildings and then just go up the inside of the building. Both have inherent risks. Both probably count as trespassing. Right now I'm surveying the block. I don't see any clear means to access the roof yet. Now, there is a construction site here. Huh? How you doing? Or not, judging by the look of that security man. I just snuck into a building. There was a delivery man coming out of this building and I just kind of walked in. That's where I need to be. I think it's on the roof of this building. I couldn't get any higher than the second floor. No, that's the wrong building. It's on the roof of this building. That's the rooftop, it's right there. There's a hardware store over here. Maybe I can sneak out through the back of the hardware store how you doing? They don't have roof access from here. This isn't even the right building. There she is. The drone is still there. The drone is still on the rooftop. I can see it just behind me. I can also see there's no way I'm getting on that roof. It's all residential buildings, they're all highly secure. I can't go to an adjacent building and climb over, there's no access. I need an entirely new approach.
wildly different approach. This is a high risk recovery attempt, but I don't know what other options are left. I've got 900 feet of industrial twine. At the end of that 900 feet of twine, I've got this grappling hook that I shaped out of baling wire. Now, I can think of quite a few things that could go wrong in this scenario, but the one that I'm most worried about is after I hook it and I'm pulling it up the 300 feet, if and when it falls, that's good night. That is lights out, that's doom. All right, let's see how this goes. grappling hook. Okay, we've got contact. It is much further down than I expected. I'm close. I'm close. I gotta swing it out. Swing it out. Come on. Very close. I touch the blade. And drop. Hook. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Don't touch the building, don't touch the building. Got another 100, 120 feet to go. Come on, you're almost home. Nice and easy, I can see the drone. I can see the drone. So close. It's right there. Come on. I got it! I got it! I got it! Yeah!